Hello, I'm John Barrett, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my new book, Wimbledon, The Official History. This third edition covers a great deal more ground about the early years of the sport and the way the All England Club played a part in helping the game to develop than the previous two volumes. And for the first time, this time, we have the evolving relationship between the LTA, which was founded in 1888, and the All England Club, which of course formed a central theme of the growth of tennis worldwide. Of course, we cover all the great players and the great matches of the past, from the Renshaws in the early years, and Lottie Dodd, who was a phenomenon, of course, uh, through Bill Tilden and Helen Wills Moody, Suzanne Longlin, all those great pre-war champions, and not forgetting our own Fred Perry and Dorothy Round, who were champions together in the 1930s. And post-war, we, of course, see the exploits of our three winning singles champions, the only three, that's Angela Mortimer, Ann Jones, and Virginia Wade. And of course, we come right up to date with the exploits of Roger Federer and his seven wins here, and his great rivalry with Rafael Nadal, who will ever forget that extraordinary match in 2008 that almost didn't finish because of darkness. There are 13 chapters altogether, the last one being all about the Olympic event here at Wimbledon, the tennis event, won, of course, by Andy Murray. And of course, I think the important thing is that Wimbledon was very proud to be a part of that whole Olympic scene. And the scenes here were quite remarkable when Murray did achieve his win over Federer. As a companion to this volume, we've also produced a book with all the Wimbledon singles draws from 1877 to 2012. And they're not only here in book form, but we've also put them now on the web. For the past 20 years or so, I've been compiling all the data that is now available for you to see on Wimbledon.com. Uh, all the draws, all the players, and you'll be able to search by player or by year. It's going to be a fascinating experience going back to see if your auntie, in fact, who claimed to have played in the mixed doubles in 1923, really did.